Hello, hello. Okay. Good morning again. Ah, okay. Vamos a ver. Está comiendo solo cosas suaves ahorita. Ok. Sí, me dejaron que comiera. Ya me dejaron que comiera. Ok. También a veces como más suave porque como ando la muela también un poco fresca. <ríe> sí, tienen que tener cuidado. Como okay. la muela. Es mi. Mi. Que cuando como me truena la muela. Mi. Tienen que tener cuidado de no comérsela. <ríe> ok, sí. tell me. El lunes cuando tuvimos la clase de Biblia, este, no, no, no. Que se... teníamos okay. que hacer algo en el cuaderno. No, no hemos hecho nada en el cuaderno hasta ahorita, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Es que okay. cuando me he trabado yo dije, hicieron algo en el cuaderno, yo no lo pensé. No. <ríe> ok, let's start, vamos bien. a comenzar. Dígame. Pues no te llamo y está Sabía que un día me creé un diente. Mm, bueno, <laughs> hay que tener cuidado, ok. Ok, so let's see, let's start. Yes, vamos a comenzar, sí, porque tenemos mucho trabajo por hacer. Ok, ok, excelente. Eh, vamos a ver, recuérdame dónde nos quedamos. Creo que un ejercicio no lo hicimos, si no me equivoco. Página 95. Usted me dice si lo logramos completar. <coughs> Nos faltaba el ejercicio B. Ok. Ejercicio A. Ah, ok. So let's finish with exercise B and C. Yes? <coughs> ok, so let's see. I'm sorry, let's review. Remember, we discussed about the helping verbs and we say that we have eight helping verbs. Um, is, are, was, where, have, has, and had. Yeah? Ok. And... If it is necessary to use a helping verb, so we use these verbs. Sun, run, gone, and frozen. Yeah? Okay. Alejandro Mendoza, tell me. Miss, eh, no. Preguntita. Es que tengo, es, no han hecho nada aún, por si acaso. Uh, no. Porque es que <coughs> entré ahorita un poquito tarde. Ok, no, ahorita vamos iniciando. ¿Sí? Ok. So let's see now. Exercise B. Choose the best bear from the chart about to complete each sentence. So we do together this exercise. Yeah? Ok. We, a new son in charge last week. Ok. What do you think is the best bear? Ok. We, in that case, a new son in charge last week. Last week, remember, this one is an expression in past. So we use a verb in past. In that case is sang. Okay, we sang a new song in charge last week. Cantamos, yeah? It's an action in past. Number two, George has to visit his grandfather in Toronto, Canada. In that case, it is necessary that we use a verb in past, yes? Because we have a helping bird. Our helping bird is has. George has to visit his grandfather in Toronto, Canada. That means George has gone, a ido. Yes, George has gone to visit his grandfather. Ha ido a visitar. Yeah, this one is the correct expression in uh, Spanish. The orange juice pops have one more time, we have a helping verb in that case. So we use the verb frozen. Yes. Okay. The orange juice pops have frozen in the freezer. Las paletas de naranja han, se han congelado en el refrigerador. Yeah. Okay. Number four. The little bell was, in that case, we have another helping verb that in this case is was. So we say was wrong to call the librarian. Okay, la campanita estuvo sonando para llamar 
al bibliotecario. The little bell was wrong to call the librarian. Yeah. Okay, these are the correct verbs that we use in that part. Exercise C. In each sentence, underline the verb or verb phrase two times. Remember, we say that a verb phrase is when you have a helping verb and also a main verb. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue. <coughs> I'm sorry. Ok, no estaba mal de la garganta, fíjense, un paréntesis. Pero me acabo de comer una piña y creo que eso me puso mal de la garganta. <coughs> Mala idea. <laughs> ok, so let's see. Let's start. Ok, the wind has blown all day. What is the verb phrase in that case? In the sentence number one. Remember, a verb phrase we choose a helping verb and a main verb. In that case, what is the main verb or the helping verb? What is the verb phrase in that sentence, in sentence number one? Okay, has blown. So you underline to time, has blown, yeah? This one is the verb phrase. Remember, a verb phrase, you use a helping verb and also a main verb. Okay, number two. Huge snowflakes fly through the air. What is the action in that sentence? In sentence number two, what is the action? Snowflake. Okay, fly. Fly yeah. in that case. Yes, oh, fly. Yeah. Okay, fly. Number three, dad had no... That is good as no today. What is the verb phrase? No, 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 had no. Okay, had no, exactly, because we use a helping verb and also a main verb. So this one is the verb phrase, had no. Number four, the cold wine has frozen the water in our dog's water dish. Has frozen, has frozen. Okay, has frozen, yes. My brother and I are watching the snow. Um, I'm watching. watching. My, okay. I'm watching. Watching. I'm watching. Are watching. Yes, the snow. And this one are the bird phrases in that exercise. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Let me clear. Yeah. Now, remember, one more time we practice with helping verbs. Okay, helping verbs help the main verb show the action. Am, is, are, was, where, have, has, and had. Okay, the helping verb and action verb together are called a verb phrase. And in that case, we study another verbs, okay? For example, we have this list in the chart. Okay, we have the present, the past, and the helping verbs. Throw, through, thrown. Break, bro, broken. Begin, began, become. See, saw, seen. Okay, that's mean the first one is in present. Throw, break, begin, see. In past, through, bro, began, and so. And the bird that need a helping bird, thrown, broken, began, and seen. Yes? Okay, in this exercise, in exercise A, in every sentence, so you have already underlined the correct, or we need to underline the correct verb in parentheses, but the helping verbs are underlined for you. Okay, that's me. If a sentence needs a helping verb, so you have here, it is underlined. So that's mean the conjugation of the verb is different, yeah? Okay, let's start. The ball game had begun or had begun already. What do you think? Begun or begun? Check the chart. Had begun. Ok. Tienen que chequear el cuadrito, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es el uso? Vamos a ver si nos pillara. Had begun. Ok, had begun. Let me see. Turn off your microphone. Alguien tiene el micrófono encendido. Ok. 
So in that case, it's have become. Yeah. Okay, number two. Max has broke or has broken the home run record for his team. Okay, so we have a helping verb here. What is the correct conjugation, broke or broken? According to the chart that you have there. Broken. Okay, broken, yes. Number three, we saw or we seen the Panda Twins at the Toronto Zoo. So. So, yes, because we don't have a helping verb, so we use so, excellent. Number four, our class has begun or has begun studying about pandas last week. Okay, has begun. Yes, has begun. Excellent. Okay, number five, Samantha broke or Samantha broken her pencil during arithmetic broke. class. Okay, broke. broke. Exactly. We don't have a helping verb, so we use in that form broke. All of the trash was threw or was thrown away when lunch was over. No. Okay, thrown. Yes, because we have a helping verb, so it is necessary that we use this conjugation. Okay, number five, seven, I'm sorry. Five eggs were saw or were seen near the row of trees. In. Okay. In. And do we have, yes, we have a helping verb. So it is necessary to use in that form. See. Okay, number eight. When that saw or when that seen the egg, he took a picture. Oh. Okay. Oh. So, so, yes, we don't have a helping verb. So we use only in pass. Yeah. So. Okay, let's check the answers, yes? So let's see. Okay, let's continue, yeah? Okay, exercise B. You choose the best form of the bear in the chart above to complete each sentence, yes? Please. Okay. But I have the full connection here. Pero tengo conexión con no, esta chica. Es que mis, eh, no sé lo que estamos haciendo en la anterior página. Mm, ok, yo se la voy a enviar, ¿de acuerdo? La voy a enviar. Pero tengo conexión completa acá. Según esto, mi internet está estable. Ok, so let's see now. Eso la es e ok, let's continue, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay, exercise B. We choose the best verb, okay, in the chart below, and we complete the sentences, yes? Okay, number one. Dad has the bar of leaves into the back of the truck. What do you think? Okay, imagine that you, let me see, hit something. When you say lanza algo, what is the verb? In that case is? Um, throw. Okay, throw. Yes, excellent. Okay, in that case, it's thrown. Thank you, Alejandro. That had thrown the bag of leaves into the back of the truck. Okay. Number two, last week, Elia, the blinky kerosene at the soup. Okay. When you Use your eyes. What is that action? The... What is the action? When you look for something, you use your eyes. That's mean you? See? Okay, but in pass. Oh. So, in that case, exactly. Okay, this one is in pass. So. Next one, these small fish are completely blind and cannot, okay? Blind is a person that don't see, okay? An animal that, do, that doesn't see, okay? Algo que no puede ver. 
This small fish incomplete is are completely blind and cannot. What is the part? When you just don't see something, cuando no puede ver algo. Okay, these small fish are completely blind and cannot see in that case. Yes, it's in present. Okay, see. Number four, Charlie has, okay, his arm and must wear a cast until it heals. Okay, for example, yeah. but something is not good. Okay, Charlie yeah, has. Okay, so you hit something and this one crash. Okay. Charlie has. Okay, broken, yes. A broken. Okay, Charlie has broken his arm. A must wear a cast until it heals. Okay, se ha quebrado su brazo. Mrs. Harris has. Okay, when you start something. Mrs. Harris has begun to memorize John 14. Ha comenzado, okay, a memorizarse. Mrs. Harris has begun to memorize, okay. Excellent. So let's see now, exercise C. You draw a line between the subject and the predicate part in each sentence. Underline the verb or the verb phrase two times and underline the subject one time. Okay, so I give you um, two minutes, yeah, for developing this exercise and then we check. So you do alone and then you check the answers, yeah? Hágalo solo y luego chequeamos, ¿sí? Okay, two minutes. Separate the verb and the subject and underline two times the verb and the verb phrase, if it is possible, yeah? Okay. So let's see. Okay. So let me check. Let's wait the other ones, yeah? Okay. One minute and then we continue. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Now let's do it. Yeah? Okay, so let's see. This separate between the subject and the predicate. So that's mean. Okay, so you check if you developed correctly. Yeah? The court. Ah, no, this one is with green. Okay, the corn is the subject and goes separated by the predicate. The corn has grown tall, yeah? He has gone to the grocery store. In that case, the subject is he, yeah? Number three, the icicles have fallen onto the ground. Icicles, yeah, this one is the subject. The large branch, okay, this one is the subject, yeah? And then you underline, okay, the verb or the verb phrase two times. It's the pen, yeah? In that case, has ground. Okay, this one is a verb or a verb phrase, has ground. Verb or okay. verb phrase? Okay, it's a verb phrase because it includes a helping verb and a main verb, yeah? Okay, number two, has gone. Is a verb or a verb phrase? Has okay. gone. Okay, this one is a bird phrase. Have fallen, bird or bird phrase? Bear. Okay, bird phrase. Bear phrase. Yes. Was broken, bird or bird phrase? Bird phrase. Bird phrase, one more time. Exactly. Okay, all of the sentences have bird phrase. Yes, because we use a helping bird and also we use a main bird. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay. Let's continue, yes? Okay, page 97 in that case. 
Okay, one more time we practice with the helping verb, but with different main verbs or action verbs. In that case, we have write, wrote, written, drink, drank, drunk, eat, ate, eaten, do, does, did, done. Yeah, so remember, we study present, past, and when it is necessary to use a helping verb. Okay, write, wrote, written. Drink, drank, drunk. Eat, ate, eaten. Do, does, did, done. Okay. In each sentence, underline the correct verb in parentheses two times. Okay, so we underline the verb only two times. So let's see. Let's start. Thomas' family ate or ate popcorn and apples by the fireplace last night. What do you think? Ate or eaten? Thomas' family ate or eaten. What do you think? Thomas. Thomas' family ate. Oh, eaten. 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 Okay. In that case, it's ate. Because we don't have a helping verb, okay? No tenemos verbos uh -huh. de ayuda. Okay, for okay. that reason, it's only in past, yes? Okay, number two. I have ate, I have eaten my lunch, said Kenny. Eaten, eaten. Eaten, eaten. exactly, eaten, because we have a helping verb that in this case is have. Who has drank, who has drunk all of the meal? Drunk. As drunk. Okay, drunk. drunk. Yes. Number four. Sarah and Daniel have did have done their homework. Done. 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 Okay. Done. Exactly. We have a helping verb, and in that case, it's done. Okay. Sarah and Daniel have done. Okay. Good. Excellent. So let's see. Let's continue. Exercise B. Choose the best verb for the chart and we complete this part. Yes? Okay. So let's see. This year, okay, we always launch at 11.30 with the second graders. Okay. I give you two options. Alejandro Mendoza. What do you think is the option? Eat or eaten? Number one. This year, we always eat or we always eat in lunch? What do you think? I miss. Hi. Eden. Eden, okay. And do you have a helping bar in the sentence? Yes. Okay. No, we don't have no. it. So, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Entonces, yes. eat, eat. Okay. Eat. <laughs> Excellent. These years we always eat lunch. Yes, because we don't have a helping verb in that case. Okay, Lisa Chinchilla. Lucas was right or written in cursive for a few years. What do you think is the best option? Right or written? Lucas has. Lucas has right or Lucas has written? Lucas has written. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Okay, Lucas has written, yes, in cursive for a few years. Okay, Aaron, what do you think is the best option? Lily and Emily did or Lily and Emily done their course before dinner? Hello? Did or done? Okay. Did. Yes, Lily and Emily did their chores before dinner. Exactly, because we don't have a helping verb, so we use in pass. Okay, number four. Alison, Guayas always did or does his work cheerfully? Guayas always did or does? Does, okay, yes, because the sentence is in present, so you write the verb in present, does. Thank you. Okay, next one, Magali. Okay, 
Okay, Magali. I have eat or I have eaten rice pudding before. Eat or eaten. Eaten, okay. I read your, your lips, okay. Leí sus labios. <laughs> Porque no les logré escuchar bien. <laughs> okay, I have eaten rice pudding before. Okay, excellent. So let's see, next one. Daniela Blandón. Yesterday, my class wrote on my class written get well notes to Mr. Patel. Write or wrote? Right. Okay, so check the time expression. Yesterday, ayer. Es una expresión en pasado. So we say? Road. Road, okay, thank you. Yes, yesterday my class wrote get well notes to Mr. Patel, our music teacher. Yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Now, in that part we practice, okay? That's mean we review. Use pro reader marks to mark which letters should be capital letters and add necessary punctuation in each sentence, okay? In that case, we review and we add all the necessary punctuation. For example, number one, and Julie, it is necessary to write capital letter, yeah? And, and also, Julie, yeah, because it's a proper noun. Okay, I, according to the rule, remember we were in capital letter, the pronoun, I, yes? Okay, so let's see then, Aunt Julie and I bought milk, comma, eggs, comma, bread, comma and bar at the grocery store period at the end of the sentence yes okay last monday okay so we write in capital letter m in monday yeah capital letter in i because the pronoun I we write with capital letter, visited my cousins who live in Johnson, comma, Tennessee period. Remember, according to the commas rule, we separate the city and the state by the comma. Yes? Okay. Number three. Yes, we play in the snow. Yes, capital letter, okay, comma, yes, remember, according to the rule says that you write comma after yes or no in a sentence. We play in the snow, period. Okay, remember to wear your mittens, said mom, okay, in that case, we write with capital letter, remember, because it's the first word in a sentence. And remember, this one is a direct quotation. So we write in quotation marks. Yes? Okay. And that's all. Okay, I think you finish, yes? Okay, I think you finish. I think you finish. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's see. Let me clear this part and we continue. <gasps> Okay, so now next page. In that case, you help me because we read, yeah? 
Okay, read the following paragraph about the Toronto Zoo. Okay, so let's see. Alison, do you want to read? Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, so let's start reading. Okay, the Toronto Zoo in Ontario, Canada, is home to over five million animals, like two every very popular animals are the teen pandas, Chia Pan Pan and Chia Jui. These very scoops were born at the Toronto Zoo. Through the zoo, visitors can see animals in an exhibit that are named, named for different parts of the world. You might see a North American river over in the American exhibit, or you might see a workshop in African savanna exhibit. Of course, all of your fan favorites are also at the Toronto Zoo. The lions, zebra, gorillas, and elephants are also so much fun to see. What a fun way to spend the day. Okay, thank you. So in that case, we discuss about a specific zoo. That is the Toronto Zoo, yeah? This one is located in Ontario, Canada, okay? And in that place live around 5,000 animals, okay? So it's very popular because you can find a lot of pandas, okay? Giant Pan Pan and Jaya Jue Jue, okay? These one are the names, yeah? These one are beautiful names, okay? Also, you can find birds, okay, bird cubs. Yes, okay, you can see different animals, for example, lions, zebras, gorillas, elephants, etc. So we have a savanna here, yeah, okay, different animals. Okay, what are you doing right now? In exercise B, in that case, okay, so you classify the nouns. So you write common nouns, proper nouns, and action verbs. So you have different here. So you can write right now, for example, common nouns. Tell me common nouns of the story. Okay, mention some common nouns uh, that you can find in the story. For um, example, which one? Um, Ontario, Canada. Ah, okay, um, listen, common nouns, nombres comunes. Is fun, yes, fun, fun. Okay, let's see. Okay, come on now. Su nombre común es lo que menciona o nombre cualquier cosa. Okay. In that nombre case. Nombre animal se puede. Yes, okay. Uh, lion. What else? Zebra and elephant. Okay, zebras. And also. Ella. Okay, elephant. elephant, river, yes, calves, animals, birds, words, all of these are common yeah. nouns. Okay, oh, now, proper uh, nouns, nombres propios. Okay, remember, a proper noun begins with a capital letter. Okay, Magali, give me one proper noun. Okay, Magali, give me one proper noun. Ok, comienzan con mayúscula, Magali. Mi nombre. Ok, algunos que están en la lectura. Toronto Sur. Ok, Toronto Sur. Ok, Christopher, tell me one. America. Okay, excellent. Amazing. So let's see. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Toronto Sioux. Yes. Let's see another one. Okay, North American. Yeah. I have some. I have one. Okay. African savanna. Okay, Alison, tell me what is the proper noun? Yeah, Pan Pan and Gia, you 
Message you a Okay. Yeah, Pampan and Gia, you a you a you a Yes, you a you a Okay, that's good. So let's see now action verbs. Verbos de acción. Action verbs. Name it. Name it. Okay. Uh, our name is our number. I name it. Okay, our name. Our name. Our, yes, okay, our name, name in that case. Okay, this one are verb phrases. Action verbs. Okay, you have only name. Yeah, this is one. What else? See, this is another one. Okay. Let me check. Spent. This is another action bar. Visitor? Visitors is a noun. Spent, yeah. See, etc. Leave. Okay. All of this one. <laughs> Okay, so this one are action verbs. Okay. Yes, I need to. Let me move, yeah? Lo voy a mover. Okay, so let's see. We have only... Okay, you can write, see? Because this one is an action verb. Or maybe you can write spent, yeah? Spent. This one are action verbs. Okay, recuerde, action sí, verbs son acciones. Poner. Mis como pone la computadora un, una letra, o sea, la A es la A-E-O, ¿cómo la pone con, cómo pone con la, con tilde, cómo la pone, cómo lo pone? Mm. Hay como tecla que tiene una tilde y le, le, pone, le pone una tilde arriba. Okay. Okay. ¿Dónde está la, la tecla? Ok, donde está la tecla que tiene el question mark, que ya lo va a cerrar en español, ahí está la tilde. Ok, también, o si no tiene dos puntitos. Sí, uh -huh. ah, solo puede corregir. Le doy la parte del signo más. Derecho. Ahí la apretas. Mm, ok. Y le puedes poner a cualquier letra. Ok, no, so let's, see, let's continue. Vamos a continuar, ¿sí? Ok, so let's see now. Write complete sentences answering following question. In that case, usted... Ok, va a escribirlo usted, ¿sí? What is one thing you learned from the paragraph about the Toronto Zoo? Ok, ¿qué aprendió de ese párrafo? This is number one. Number two. What is something you would like to do at the Toronto Zoo? ¿Qué le gustaría okay. hacer en ese zoológico? Ok. And number three. If you wanted to invite... Christopher, please... If you wanted to invite your friend to go to the Toronto Zoo with you, what would you tell him about the zoo that will make him excited about going? Okay, si usted quisiera invitar a un amigo a ir a ese zoológico con usted, ¿qué le diría acerca del zoológico para animarlo a ir? Okay. Um, so number one, listen. Okay, solo escucha indicaciones. Usted lo va a escribir. Number one, ¿qué es lo que usted aprendió del párrafo? Lo va a escribir en el número uno, in English, of course. Number two, what is something you would like to do at the Toronto Zoo? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer en el zoológico de Toronto? En number three, si usted quiere invitar a un amigo a ir a ese zoológico, ¿cómo lo convencería para ir? ¿Qué le diría para convencerlo y que vaya con usted? ¿Ok? Okay, so this one is the last activity, yeah? But remember, this one is with your own words. Yes, usted, well, well, usted lo va a escribir con sus propias teacher. palabras, okay? Tell me. Este, a mí me trajo la primera. ¿Y qué era la primera? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que usted aprendió de ese párrafo? Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Ok, trate de hacerlo, ¿sí? Que hablamos en Biblia, que debemos de motivarnos, ¿ok? Y hacer las cosas, no debemos decir no puedo, sino que sí lo podemos hacer, ¿sí? Así vamos a ir aprendiendo, chicos. Ok, nos vemos mañana, ¿de acuerdo? En nuestras siguientes clases. Disfruta el resto de la tarde y disfruta el almuerzo.
Un abrazo. Ok, bye bye.